Hey everyone, Reza is here. Welcome to Visual Components. In this video, we'll talk about legendary plug and play tool. Let's go for it. So plug and play is this icon over here, PNP under manipulation group. In case that is chosen and you choose a component from ECAD, in this case, I'm choosing this conveyor guy. We can start to rotate it as you can see. Also, you can locate it using this circle over here. And for a sec, you saw a green arrow up here. What's that? Well, as you can see, there is a yellow looking interface over here because we have chosen the plug and play mode. We can see the interfaces. So what happens with this interface when there is a familiar component nearby, you'll see a green arrow showing up. It means that, hey, we know each other. We can connect. So these two interfaces are now connected. You see? When I click on both conveyors, you can see the interface color being green. Of course, these are two interfaces. So one is there, the other one is here, and they are attached. But well, let's take it out and test something. What if I connect the other side? So let's go over here. But you see now, it's not connecting. Why? The reason is that the direction of this interface is output and here is an input. So these are one way interfaces, so you cannot connect them. You should connect the right one. So that's why I will rotate it a bit and then connect it. But of course, not all the interfaces are going to be like these one way. If I zoom back. Let's go to this guys on the left side. So if I click on this turntable, it's also from our ECAT. It's under the conveyors folder. There is a turntable conveyor. As you can see, there are interfaces which are two ways here. So it means that, for example, let's bring one of those guys here. So if I just bring it nearby. So you see now it's connected, right? And this is an output, but if I click here, you see that the output is connected. But in case that I choose this conveyor again and bring the other side, it also connects. Still, the conveyor is one way, but you can connect both sides, of course. And then if I connect one conveyor here and a feeder, and then, for example, we have a conveyor here and press play feeder is producing parts and parts are being delivered thanks to the PMP tool remember we are still talking about plug and play tool but what if I actually go to move tool let's connect the conveyor with the move tool so I take it near here well we have also the attach tool then I can attach this conveyor to the turntable and then press play let's see what happens well nothing happens why because they are not connected for good if you want to connect components to each other using the interfaces plug and play is the way to go of course there are also other ways but in case you want this quick and clean way of connection you gotta use pnp so i'm gonna detach this conveyor and then while PNP is activated. Let's connect it back. What else do we have? So to connect robot and controllers and also positioners, we can use the PNP tool. So for example, here there is a controller and the robot can get attached on it. As you can see. So now controller is like the parent and robot is the child so if I move the parent the child moves with it but if I choose the child parent doesn't follow bad parent <laughs> oh no I mean that's the hierarchy right here we want to have for example a robot to go on the positioner and if you want this positioner to be controlled by our robot controller the whole thing should go on the robot controller so like now, as you can see, robot controller is the parent to everyone. And then also this robot tool, it looks hilarious. I like this one. 
the robot tool also is connected to all so if i connect the controller you see everything starts moving around but if i take the robot away and then let's take the positioner away and if the robot is there it's not really that way that you connect as you can see nothing works you cannot really connect controller on the positioner because the hierarchy says first controller then positioner and then the robot which is installed on the positioner one more thing or let's say one last thing before i finish the tutorial is about the orthographic mode and plug and play tool you know you can show the 3d projection in perspective or orthographic orthographic is used mainly for modeling components or for example creating drawings but look here, now I have PMP tool chosen. I'm trying to connect the tool to the robot and nothing happens. Why is that? Because I have the orthographic mode activated so I don't see the depth. Let's deactivate it. So now you can see actually that the component is somewhere far back there. So then it might be a little bit confusing that why it's not connecting to the robot. So while you are using plug and play tool, watch out for the orthographic mode and the depth of the 3D world. Okay, that's what I wanted to show you about PNP. Go and try it, enjoy and see ya. Visual components.